Hello cuties, I've got a really fun project to show you. Today I'll be working with this Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor cardstock. It's a perfect size to work with when you're experimenting with new things. And I'm using this Pebeo drawing gum. The first time I used it was actually at a class at Craftcation Conference. The artist CN was amazing in showing us this cool product. So I'm excited to try it out for the first time in the studio. I'm taking this number two brush and I'm just dipping it into the Pebeo drawing gum. It's a masking fluid, so what areas that I'm actually painting on will remain white. After it dries, I'll show you the coolest thing that happens with it. So I'm painting it on simply by taking my brush and dipping it in, and I'm playing with the coverage a little bit. I'm not too concerned about the bubbles right now, but I do want to make sure, whoa, the light is changing in the studio, sorry. I do want to make sure that the actual letters all have, uh, all the parts have the drawing gum on it. I hope that makes sense. So what I want to do is just continue using this with my brush. The coverage actually comes out really nicely. Like I said, the first time I used it was about a year ago, but now I'm using it for the first time. It's one of those supplies that I bought right after I had tried it because I was so excited about it, but then I didn't actually take it out to experiment with it. So you're actually seeing it for the first time in action, which is really kind of fun for me because I often make a lot of mistakes so that you don't have to. You can see here that I'm filling in a little bit of the letters in parts, and then I've decided that I'm going to take some more, oops, see right there, I just had a little accident. Anyway, I am going to write out spring and speed this video up a little bit so you don't have to see every single little stroke. And then once I finish up this word, I decided that I wanted to put a little bit uh, more interest in this happy or next to the happy in this white space here so I'm sketching these little flowers now that drawing gum I just cleaned up right away with a wet paper towel and it's really important to clean off your brush right away when you're using this stuff so I let it dry for about 20 minutes and what I wanted to do is, I probably should have done this before, I took out a craft sheet so that I could lay out the piece on top of it, but I probably really should have been working with this the entire time underneath this piece. So that's a little lesson for you guys, especially since my table is brand new in the studio. Now, it is dry to the touch. It is slightly sticky, uh, just a little bit, but I'm going to take these koi watercolors because I do know that the gum has dried completely. You could even probably use a heat tool if you're in a hurry, but I just let it sit for about 20 minutes. I'm taking a cup of water and these brand new koi watercolors. They come in this awesome little travel case. I'm using a Heidi Swap brush instead of the water brush that comes in the case just because I want to use uh, a larger brush for the coverage since I'm painting the background. I'm taking this and just kind of adding a little bit of water to it and mixing up a color. I love how this turns into kind of like this fuchsia hot pink that I love. And when I feel like I've got enough on the brush, I'm going to just take it and apply it to the cardstock. Um, this is watercolor paper, so it takes on the paint really nicely, and I could have probably added water to the card first and then dropped the paint in, but I'm just using this simple technique of adding the paint in kind of horizontal strokes going across the page. What I want to achieve really is an ombre effect so I'm just going to speed up this video a little bit, grabbing some white with a different color brush, and I'm going to try and lighten the tone of the next color that I'm choosing, which is this orange, which looked a little bit dark in the pan, but I think um, the white kind of brings out a nice, oh, there, look, it's pretty dark. So I'm going to take this other brush and then blend it together. I'm just playing. Honestly, I think that when you're trying this at home, choose colors that you really like. I wanted to try to find some 
colors that evoked happiness and felt very springtime. And then I realized that it was kind of looking dull to me, so I wanted to add a little bit more color in some areas. And like I said, I'm just playing with it, experimenting. I'm nowhere near an expert when it comes to watercolors. I know that I just like using them and having fun and enjoying the process. So I hope you do too. I wanted to put a little bit more color in the corners and then I'm blotting with a paper towel because I realized that it was a little too much coverage. Once I was happy with it, I didn't probably have to do this, but I wanted to dab off a little bit of excess colors that was pooling in the drawing gum. This step is probably not necessary, but I just thought it'd be better for the video so you could see what it looks like while I let the watercolors dry. So now that the watercolors have dried, again, another about 15, 20 minutes, I'm taking this gum eraser, I think it's called, oops. So you can see that I just did a little bit too much pressure and I lifted up at the bottom of the H a little bit of the paper. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm taking this drawing gum and it's removing the, sorry, I'm taking the eraser and removing the drawing gum and it's coming off very nicely. And I'm gonna peel it so hopefully it doesn't peel off too much of the paper. But it's a really cool texture that's coming to play. I don't know. I feel like we used to do this when we were kids with rubber cement. I think the same kind of thing happens, but I'm just going to speed up this video a little bit too. You could probably use your finger and do it as well, but I find it faster with this square thingy. So it's peeling off very nicely. The whole process is kind of fun and therapeutic too because you get to see this resist really coming into play. Now, I could have probably done a little bit more of a thick and thin effect because the drawing gum is really just so nice once it dries. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit more peeling on the eye there. I was probably rushing it and getting a little too excited. So take your time with peeling it off. If you are a perfectionist, that definitely would be my advice. That was really fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing this cool technique and feel inspired to try it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you have any questions or tips, I'd love to read them. If you're wondering what I did with this card, well, I styled it with some pretty flowers and a donut for a little campaign I worked on for Dunkin' Donuts. As much as I love how it looks on my table, I'll probably end up mailing it to a friend. Please like this video, subscribe, and even share it with a friend. Thanks so much for watching and keep those creative juices flowing.